Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, on my last video, um, I got like one of my first kind of video requests. Um, so someone said, for your next video, I'd like to hear your opinion on breastfeeding since Instagram is shadow banning accounts that post about it. Um, so I'm going to talk about breastfeeding today. Um, so breastfeeding is such a controversial, um, topic and, you know, I'm never the type of person that's going to judge a mom whether she breastfeeds or formula feeds or whatever she chooses to do because bed is best, um, whether it's formula or breast milk. To me, um, that's the mom's and the dad's. Or whoever's involved um, that's your decision it's your baby whatever is comfortable for your family um, and your baby you should do whatever works best for your baby is what you should do you don't want to force um, to breastfeed your baby if your baby's not doing well with breast milk or not latching or whatever it is so to go a little bit deeper um, I, my whole pregnancy wanted to breastfeed. I was like, I don't want a formula feed. Like, I wasn't against it, but I just really wanted to breastfeed. Um, it's something that I always did research on, and it has so many benefits and just so many good things come from breast milk. Um, and I really wanted that bonding experience with my baby. Um, so... I, right when she was born, um, probably within 20 minutes, um, uh, me and a nurse were trying to latch her, and she did latch on. She latched pretty well. Um, it was a little bit difficult because, of course, it's so new to me and to her. Um, so, you know, the next few hours was just trying to latch her every two hours to eat, and, um, try and get my milk to come in um but I knew before I had her that I was gonna have an issue with her latching on to my breasts because um I'm not gonna like go into detail just like I don't I'm not the best candidate for breastfeeding I already knew that um so after a few days of being home from the hospital um, she was still latching. We had a lactation consultant come in the hospital. It's just what they do. It's a mandatory thing that they do at the hospital we went to. And she taught me a bunch of different things and it was really educational and it did help. But we got home and I was so exhausted and I wanted her dad to be able to feed her. So I pumped milk, had him put it in a bottle and give her the bottle. After that one time with the bottle, she never ever wanted to latch on again I tried to latch her on and she just sit there and scream she did not want it she wanted the bottle and I get it it's a lot easier and even as soon as she had the pacifier too she just didn't want my breasts anymore which is fine so I started to exclusively pump and add a pump every two hours even throughout the night to get her milk and I still just wasn't ever producing enough. I'd produce maybe two to three ounces in a whole pumping session from both boobs combined and that's really not a lot. So I was supplementing a little bit with formula because I had to, I wasn't producing enough and then I had to be on antibiotics which were safe for breastfeeding after I gave birth just for some own issues I had afterwards. The antibiotics, I did a lot of research because she was starting to get really colicky and screaming and she was in so much pain. She was so gassy and I felt so bad for her and I started doing research and a lot of babies that either had to be on antibiotics themselves or their moms were and they were breastfeeding when they were that young started to get GI tract issues and digestive issues and it would hurt their bellies and so I stopped giving her my breast milk and just strictly gave her formula for about a week until I was off the antibiotics. And I was off the antibiotics for days and I was still pumping um, and just dumping it. And I was off of it for a few days before I tried to give her my milk again. And 
the same thing happened and it hadn't happened since before when I was giving her formula it didn't happen so I was like you know what I don't want to do this to her I don't want her to go through this I don't want us to have to go through this because it's hard when a baby is screaming constantly and doesn't feel good and you don't know what to do so if she felt better with the formula that's what I did um, so we went to her doctor and she recommended that we put her on Nutramogen which is a it's a formula that is for cow's milk allergy and doesn't have any dairy or soy in it so it helps a lot of babies that have a colic problem because it helps with gas and fussiness and all that so she was on that for a while and I let my supply dry up and that's what worked for my family so if your family is different that's totally fine if you chose to do formula for no reason just you didn't want to breastfeed that is okay but my views on breastfeeding and it being banned so I think that it is so wrong for anyone especially uh, social media whoever's in charge of your social media accounts to tell you that you can't post about your own breastfeeding or about what you choose to do as a mother and how you feed your baby I think it's so wrong because I do know that they sometimes put even if they're banning it I don't know much about that but I do know that a lot of people that post themselves breastfeeding that post will have like a restriction on it and you have to like click to like reveal it and it's like why would that be restricted you're feeding your child your breasts were made to feed your child they're not supposed to be sexualized but somewhere along the way they become sexualized but your breasts are there to feed your children that's the that's the only reason really that they are there in the first place that's why god or whoever made women have breasts is to feed their children like why else would as soon as you have a baby your body starts to lactate it's just I think it's so insane that anyone tries to tell people where when how they can breastfeed like when people are in public and they're breastfeeding if they don't want to cover up you don't you shouldn't have to and you don't but people will say things or I've seen so many things where someone is upset because they were breastfeeding in public and you can't see anything you can see their boob but you can't see their nipple and someone comes up to them and is like you should cover up why you're feeding your child why would you need to cover up your like you're giving your child nourishment <laughs> to survive if you're exclusively breastfeeding that is how your baby is living and eating and surviving so it doesn't make any sense for someone to tell you that you can't do that so in my opinion having social media like ban breastfeeding posts or having them restricted is completely wrong I think breastfeeding should be totally normalized I think that we should raise our children now because apparently before kids maybe weren't some people's kids weren't raised to normalize it and now they think oh my god like you can't do that in public or you can't post that on Instagram or you can't post that on Facebook or Twitter or wherever and we need to raise our children to be like that's normal when your kid is little and sees maybe a mom breastfeeding if you didn't choose to breastfeed so they don't know what it is if they see someone breastfeeding and they're like what are they doing you should be like she's feeding her baby like this is normal this is okay she's feeding her kid because this it's natural it's normal and it shouldn't be something that is like frowned upon or something that is like judged at all um in fact we should support moms and help bring them up and make them feel more comfortable to breastfeed in public covered or uncovered however they want to be because i know I didn't even have the ability to breastfeed in public because she was so little when she stopped latching on that we hadn't even gone out yet. But if I were to go in public, I'm sure that I would feel scared to be judged or have someone come up to me and say something to me, but I shouldn't have to feel that way. I shouldn't have to feel worried about someone looking at me weird while I'm trying to feed my baby. 
and I know a lot of women do not care at all. They're like, whatever, like if someone tries to say something to me and I probably would eventually be that way too. But I'm thinking now if I ever had to go in public and breastfeed without being like covered or even being covered, I feel like people would be definitely judging and I would not be okay with that. I would be upset. I'd be confused of why they don't understand that it's normal. Um, so basically my overall view of breastfeeding is we should normalize it. It is something that is beautiful. It's amazing. You see these babies that are exclusively breastfed that are like have just rolls and rolls and it's like it's insane that their mom did that for them. Like they nourished them and they got them to be so healthy and just from their their own bodies. That's insane. Like some moms never even supplemented formula with their babies ever and that's amazing some moms did formula always and never gave their babies breast milk that's amazing too it's amazing that science has created something like formula that can feed people's babies if they choose to not breastfeed or if they can't breastfeed a lot of moms don't produce at all so i think that it's really amazing thing both things just in general um I think it's great and I think that it's wrong that anyone would ever try and ban someone from posting about it or anything because a lot of the people that post about it are trying to normalize breastfeeding and are trying to basically like show the world that this is normal and this is how like I feed my kid and this is you know this is our like family's way of what we do you know, I just think that it should really, it's really up to the person if they want to post about that and they should be able to. It should never be something that is frowned upon ever. And so for the person that left that comment on my video, here are my views. So if it sounds a little bit heated, it's because it kind of is because I see so many people make videos or posts about how they are upset that they can't show their breastfeeding or things like that. Like someone else that I watch on YouTube, she is a young mom, but she's under 18 and she was at risk of losing her YouTube channel because of her showing her nursing her baby on her channel and now she might lose her YouTube channel. I don't, I don't know the whole story, but she might lose her YouTube channel because she showed that and because she's underage. She's feeding her child. Like, that is the most important thing, is that her child is being fed, whether it's from breast milk or formula. And if she chooses to show how she feeds her baby, that is her decision. That is her life. And nobody should ever say anything about that. And nobody should care. And nobody... Even other people that I've seen breastfeeding posts on Instagram or different places of moms showing their their babies feeding on them. And you can't even see anything. And people are like, this is like pornography. This is that. How? Like, when and how did breastfeeding or boobs become so sexualized to the point where you can't show yourself breastfeeding? I just don't get that. But these are my overall views. And this is my kind of short little story of why I don't breastfeed but I did try and um my next baby in the future far from now I hope to breastfeed and I hope to stick to it for as long as my baby wants to breastfeed and so hopefully next time will be a little bit different now that I am more educated and now that I have gone through having a baby in the hardships of breastfeeding and pumping or whatever it is that you do to get your milk out however you can. Um, now that I know a lot more, I'm a little bit more prepared for my next baby. If you like this video and if you'd like to see more videos, just subscribe and like this video. And if anyone has any more video requests, like the person that commented for this video, please comment 
down below and let me know if you want to see certain videos or certain topics or my views or opinions on different things because I definitely have them and I'm not like afraid to share my views um, because everyone has their own opinions. So that is all for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.